Right folks, welcome back to the channel and today we have a question from Patreon Grant who asked how to do snow bases. So I'm going to show you how to do snow bases. But first of all, if you would like to support the channel and be in with a chance to win uh, a character painted by me every month, uh, then please support the channel by becoming a Patreon. This is the James R model I'm currently working on for Patreon own. Uh, and you can watch me paint this up over on Twitch and I'll post a link in the description. But without further ado, let us get on with the snow bases. So what I like for snow bases is a lot of slate. I imagine slate is quite mountainous uh, and obviously snow is up mountains. So I've literally got a piece of garden slate here. Uh, I bought an entire bag of this for about three or four pound. And I'm gonna start by literally super gluing it straight onto the base. So once the super glue is dried, you can see I've kind of put the rock slightly in the middle so the model can stand, you know, exactly on the rock like he's jumping over it or something like that. Uh, next up though, we are going to use some PVA glue uh, and we're going to paint the rest of the base with PVA glue. You don't want a massive amount because you want it to dry, but you want enough so that the sand is going to stick to it that we're going to use. And there we go. Next up, we will now dip this straight in our sand. Uh, and this is a bag of sharp sand that I got from Builders Merchant. It was about £1.50. Uh, and I've been using this for about six years. So yeah, it goes a long way, guys. Give it a tap. And then we let that dry and go and prime it black. So here we go, the base has been primed black. You can see it's quite difficult to see in this light, but next up what I'm going to do uh, is hit it with a little bit of uh, Games Workshop's The Fang airbrush paint. Uh, you could dry brush this quite heavily as well if you want, uh, but the idea is I don't want to paint right into the cracks and crevices. So I'm just gonna do a quick top down. So I did paint the actual rock a little heavier uh, and tried to actually cover that in paint but the actual sand around the sides I only did ever so slightly uh, in the grey just to take the black hint off. I'm going to do exactly the same with the white as well whilst not getting very much white on the rock at all. You can also achieve this exact same effect using um, an actual white rattle can. Uh, this is what I did the majority of my towel bases with, if you've seen those. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, because I have airbrushed and it's quite a bit softer, I am actually going to apply a little bit of a dry brush. Um, what I did with the towel ones is I actually went in with a brush and repainted the entire rock uh, with the fang uh, before I was dry brushing it with a uh, lumpy coal of white scar. <laughs> Um, white, white paints are not great at all. Uh, whichever white you find suitable, uh, and I'm using a large GW dry brush, which is normally pretty good for dry brushing, uh, and I'm going to be quite a bit heavier on the outside bits. There we go, and I'm going to try and scrub a bit more paint off it, and then just lightly pick the edges of the rock just to give it a little bit of accent I don't want to cover it too much there we go uh, and next I'm going to paint the base in black uh, so any large brush uh, along with some abaddon black uh, just to rim the base to be honest, you could probably get away with doing this in white uh, or even like a grey colour like the Fang or Mechanica Standard. Uh, I like black because it really, really makes the rest of the base pop. And 
and there we go once that is dry at this point i'm going to add a little bit of grass uh, you can get tufts of grass like this from games workshop army painter uh, lots of other places uh, i actually picked mine up from battle bunker um, along with the Valhalla Blizzard by GW uh, this is the best snow that I've actually come across I've used the Army Painter Powder and I've used the Woodland Scenics one uh, this is actually one of the best despite the price um, so if you would like any of these products please message Justin at Battle Bunker he does do uh, delivery on orders as well but what I'm going to do is just put a little dab of super glue there just to stick a tuft of grass on and you know what? I'm gonna leave this piece quite desolate. I'm just gonna have that one piece on there, and that's it. Next up, if you're a fan of coffee, uh, or you go to McDonald's or Greg's or anything a lot, pick up a load of these. These are invaluable for stirring paint in your airbrush, but also for applying Valhalla and Blizzard. So, this is a brand new tub. Just give it a bit of a mix. And what we're gonna do is get a nice scoop on the end here. And I'm going to put a little bit here on the bottom when I can actually load it up on the end properly. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Valhalla and Blizzard down the bottom here and then use the coffee stirrer to smush it in a little bit. There we go. A little bit more around the back here kind of hanging off the the rock a bit and the good thing about this is it is quite claggy so it doesn't just run everywhere you can manipulate it into like uh, little lumps and clumps of snow so it looks as though it's like fell or thawed in different areas and I'll put a little bit on the top but also a little tiny bit along here as well Maybe just put a little bit more along the bottom there. Like I said, you can manipulate it quite well. So here on the top, for example, I don't want it quite as big, I want it quite flat. Maybe just do a nice little clump on the end there. And you can put as much or as little on there as you like. And there we have it folks, the completed base you can see here is uh, modelled by my Blood Angel Aggressor. This is a 40mm base and you can see there that I placed the rock in such a way that he stands very clearly atop of it. Uh, in quite an imposing position hopefully. Uh, but there, snow bases are that easy. Uh, obviously you could apply a lot more snow around the edges, you don't need to leave it as scarce as what I have if you really want to pile the snow up. You can see there on the back that it looks quite a bit more, you could really really start piling that up. Uh, but yeah, Valhalla and Blizzard uh, and of course the little tufts and it's just garden slate and bag of sharp sand and that is pretty much it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys, if there is anything that you would like to see please let me know and I will try to get it done for you. Uh, but please check out the rest of the channel, please follow us on Twitch for live hobby streams uh, and support us via Patreon or becoming a YouTube member uh, for early access to battle reports as well. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon.